Next is the fashion model range. This includes clearly defined muscles and visible six pack abs. Actors, models and social media influencers often aim for this look. Women in this range naturally carry more fat in the hips, breast and thighs and this distribution can be very flattering when paired with a strong foundation of muscle. Once you go beyond 17% for men and 27% for women, you'll start to notice more fat in the belly and face. I call this the fitness enthusiast range. Let me start with a question. Are you planning to compete in a bodybuilding competition? If not, you do not need to know your exact body fat percentage. An estimated range is more than enough for most people. In this updated video, I'll walk you through a new and improved body fat chart for both women and men. We'll break down each range, what it looks like and what it means for your health and aesthetics. Let's first understand body fat itself. Body fat is soft and fluffy. Think of cotton. Muscle on the other hand is dense and compact like steel. That's why when you are losing fat properly, you'll notice inches coming off your body even if the numbers on the scale doesn't move much. You're getting smaller, leaner and more toned often because you're also gaining muscles at the same time. So there are two types of body fat. Visceral fat is the more dangerous type. It wraps around your internal organs and is largely responsible for belly fat. Then there is subcutaneous fat, which is the one you can pinch under your skin. This is what most people think of when they talk about body fat. So let's begin with the lowest body fat range, the bodybuilder range. This is typically achieved during competition season and while it looks impressive, it's not sustainable. Body fat plays an important role in regulating hormones, protecting organs, maintaining body temperature, supporting immunity and storing energy. Extremely low levels around 3 to 6% for men and 11 to 14% for women can lead to serious health issues. That's why most competitors regain fat quickly after a show. Next is the fashion model range. This includes clearly defined muscles and visible six pack abs. Actors, models and social media influencers often aim for this look. But keep in mind cameras make people appear to be 40% larger than they are in real life. I've seen many celebrities up close and they are often much leaner in person than they appear on screen. This range is also hard to maintain for long. Actors and models often slim down temporarily for a shoot or film and then regain body fat afterwards. Now let's talk about the athletic ranges. In these ranges, muscle definition is still visible but not as sharp. Separation between muscles fade, vascularity is less pronounced and a thin layer of fat covers the body. However, if you have been lifting weights and building muscles over time, you'll still have good tone and possibly visible abs, especially if you have worked hard to make them blocky. For men, the athletic range is typically 11 to 14% and for women, 19 to 22%. People in the health and fitness industry often maintain this range year round. With a consistent workout routine and a mostly clean diet, think 80-20 or a 90-10 diet, this range is achievable and sustainable. It's healthy, it looks great and it aligns with the three pillars of fabulous body, lean, functional and healthy. Before we move forward, it's important to highlight something specific to women. When a woman drops below 20% body fat, she risks developing female athlete triad. This condition involves irregular or missing menstrual cycles, low energy availability and decreased bone density. It's especially common among women in sport that emphasizes thinness like gymnastic, figure skating, long distance running and ballet. Diagnosing and treating it can be complex and usually requires medical professionals. So if you are a woman aiming for lean physique, please be cautious if your body fat dips too low. Now let's move into the next range which is also athletic but allows for more flexibility. For women, this is around 23 to 26% and for men, 15 to 17%. 
The six pack might disappear, but with good muscle mass and tone, you can still look your best and feel your best. Women in this range naturally carry more fat in the hips, breast and thighs and this distribution can be very flattering when paired with a strong foundation of muscle. Once you go beyond 17% for men and 27% for women, you'll start to notice more fat in the belly and face. I call this the fitness enthusiast range. It's still a healthy range and many people, especially those who work out regularly, but enjoy more dietary flexibility fall here. In fact, around 30 to 50% of fitness enthusiasts live in this range comfortably. However, once you move past 21% for men and 31% for women, visceral fat begins to increase. I refer to this as the overweight range, 22 to 25% in men and 32 to 35% in women. This is when you might start to lose your natural shape, your belly protrudes, your face looks rounder and overall you feel less agile. Here's a photo comparison of me at 10% and 20% body fat. My muscle mass is roughly the same in both pictures but the difference in my face and waist is dramatic. Just a 10% change can completely alter how you look and feel. The last two ranges are the chubby and the obese categories. You really don't want to be here. Excess fat, especially visceral fat, becomes a serious health risk. Countless studies link obesity with increased chance of heart disease, type 2 diabetes and various cancers. If you are above 25% for men or 35% in women, your first goal should be to bring that down below 21% for men and 31% for women for a healthier, longer life. Please remember that the chart and visuals I've shared are rough guidelines. How someone looks at a given body fat percentage can vary a lot. For example, someone with a lot of muscle might appear leaner at the same body fat level compared to someone who's not as muscular. For example, if you look at this photograph of Mark Wahlberg, what do you think his body fat percentage is? It's hard to tell, but I'd guess he'll be somewhere around 21 to 24%. Fat distribution also plays a big role. Personally, I am what's called skinny fat. I store most of my fat in my belly and face, pretty much the worst spots. Others like Mark Wahlberg store fat more evenly across their bodies, which makes them look leaner overall. Well, I hope this video helped you better understand body fat ranges and how to estimate yours without any equipment. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment below. I'm Akash. Thank you so much for your time.